inflation uh, craziness. Uh, so I'll, I'll tell you, we had about $150,000 and we still do set aside for that and that covered it. Now the quotes are nearly 400,000. So we are holding on that. It's not uh, off the table. We're just waiting until we either get more funding available or the prices come back down a little bit in budget. Something new at the Healthy Life Center that I think a lot of you may be interested in. Uh, we started a new program called Partner in Wellness. And the partner refers to a gated community, an HOA. So our first partner in wellness is Heritage Palms, which is actually in Fort Myers, believe it or not. Uh, and what that means is a certain percentage of uh, those community members will be with Lee Health and what we do is we partner with them directly where they get their own navigation um, staff member through the Healthy Life Center. So people in that community would have sort of direct access to skip the uh, call lines and, and you won't end up in the phone queues. You'll get your own direct representative to work with you and in addition to that they plan wellness events in your community, whether it be exercise, education, they can get you specific uh, classes based on your need virtually uh, or in person through the Healthy Life Center. And that's a growing program. There's only one community so far. A lot of communities are interested. Uh, if you are interested or your community might be interested, email me. I've got cards up here, cards for me and Molly. Molly is, uh, many of you probably know Molly Grubbs, one of our community relations specialists. So you think you might be interested, uh, email us. So I wanted to do some interesting facts too. A lot of people are wondering uh, how much we're doing at Coconut Point. So here are some statistics. These are two weeks old, okay? So um, in 2022 so far, and this is since October 1st because that's our fiscal year, we've done 12,560 emergency room visits at Coconut Point. Okay, not totally in Lee Health, that's just at Coconut Point. Um, this time last year, we would have done a little over 9,800, which tells you that's we've grown almost 30% uh, in the past 12 months um, in terms of the volume coming through there. 14% of our emergency room visits this year have been ambulance drop-offs. The rest are walk-in. Um, more than 80% of those patients will get treated uh, a, um, and they'll be ready to discharge right back home. Uh, 3% and growing, right, this number is going up every month, stay in our observation unit uh, and then they're discharged home. Most of those observation units include overnight stays and I'll talk a little bit more about that too a couple slides from now. We are transferring about 15% of the patients to an acute care hospital. Most of them go to Lee Health hospitals, but they don't have to if the patient prefers NCH. We will happily do NCH or Physicians Regional. Um, but the goal for us at Coconut Point is to do as much as we can for the community so that they do not have to transfer north or south. More interesting facts. These are all related to the emergency room. So God forbid you have to make a visit, but if you did, this is what you could expect. So the average triage time from the time you hit the door to a nurse decides the priority of your case, 5.5 minutes and our goal is five. Um, if you require an EKG, chest pain is a major uh, complaint that we see and that's great. If you have chest pain, you absolutely can go to Lee Health Coconut Point. Uh, you will get an EKG within 11 minutes of walking in. Uh, our goal is 10. So we're not meeting our goals in a few of these. Uh, one thing that is very important to us, us being freestanding, not having uh, a lot of space to park people, for lack of a better term, we need to turn them over quick, right? So after you see the doctor and the doctor says, you're good, you're okay, here's some prescriptions, you can go, you're out the door 24 minutes after that, right? So if you've ever been to the hospital, you probably understand you know, what am I waiting around for, right? I'm, I'm done, can I leave, right? We wanna get rid of that time block and we're actually doing pretty well with that. So 24 minutes from the time you see the doctor and you're ready to go. Um, door to doctor time we're struggling with. 
okay? And I, and I wanna explain a little bit why. Door to doctor time is 62 minutes right now, and we expect this to be 30. Um, for our high acuity cases, the door to doctor time is very short, okay? So if you have chest pain, it is very short. You will see the doctor very soon. If you're having stroke symptoms, you will see the doctor immediately. Um, the reason why this average has gone up is because we've had a very exponential increase in low acuity ED visits. People coming in uh, asking to be tested for COVID, right, is the main one. And that has happened a lot in the past 12 months. And those people will have a very long wait. Um, and very long, you know, maybe that's subjective. At Coconut Point, it's not gonna be as long as it is at the major hospital campuses, but those cases are driving our wait time higher, the average of it, uh, because it's just not a priority. We, we have done a lot of education, we've invested in a lot of marketing materials for community members, trying to direct that type of care to a more appropriate location like an urgent care or even a primary care or even a state-run testing site. But we still are having so many people show up in the emergency room uh, with minor symptoms um, asking for COVID testing. So that has been a major factor for us, a challenge. So here's what we are seeing, and these are real numbers. Um, so this is in the last 12 months, the top five reasons why, the number one reason why people show up to our ED is abdominal pain, followed by a fall, then chest pain, shortness of breath, and then flu-like symptoms. Okay. So that's what we're seeing. Uh, in terms of what kind of surgeries are we doing, the orthopedics program has grown significantly. Um, we are performing total shoulders at Coconut Point. We haven't done that before. Go ahead. Ryan, uh, fall with pain, how many of those are sports related, like pickleball? Um, not many. Not many, not a majority. A majority are people falling in the home, uh, poor balance, they trip, their hip hurts. Um, I, I would say, you know, and I'm guessing here, I probably shouldn't guess, 25% maybe would be a sport related thing. Maj the bigger majority would be, uh, you know, an elderly or a low balance patient. Um, uh, orthopedics has has grown. Uh, part of that has been the push to uh, cut down on inpatient surgeries. So you may have heard on the news that uh, we've had to limit elective surgeries at the acute campuses, and that has pushed us to get more creative with what we can do in the outpatient setting, uh, and we have done that. Uh, we do a lot of sports surgeries at Coconut Point. We have not done a total knee or a total hip at Coconut Point. We've only done total shoulders. People ask a lot about total joints. We can do that. It's difficult because most of those total joints in the lower extremity will require an overnight stay and that's not something we're doing for surgery at Coconut Point. Uh, we do a lot of melanoma uh, excisions, uh, GYN and breast cancer surgery, and then general surgery. One thing not mentioned there is we do a lot of colonoscopies and endoscopies as well. Um, just to give you an update, we've been severely 